And then what is the purpose to harass, coerce, harass, or intimidate? Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that the person who had put that out into the stream of public on the Internet decided to run for political office and had just been putting it out on the Internet six months to a year before they decided to run for political office. And then someone who's running against her, or maybe not even her opponent, maybe a concerned parent in that jurisdiction might be concerned. Ooh, who's going to be making the laws for me? Who's running? Who's going to Richmond to make laws on pornography, child pornography, education, the books that will be in our library, the books that will be in our schools? Huh. Would I like to know? Would I like to see? Would I like the voters to see what that person does in their spare time, how that person might decide to make spare money? What are their values? When I send them to Richmond, what are their values? How are they going to vote on the things that I care about? This bill makes that a crime. It's absurd and is a complete and total violation of free speech. I ask that you not support this bill.